All right. So, in mathematics, when you're dealing with a plus and a minus, a multiplication and a division, this use the same set of rules. Okay? Similar with this one. Set of rules are similar. Okay? All right. So now, let's deal with a a plus a a plus a minus a so what you do with these ones is you treat these ones as physical items right physical items what do i mean by that i mean if you have an apple and an apple right you add them together it's two apples right if you have two apples and one apple how many do you have you have three apples right that's exactly how you treat these ones you go 3a let's say sorry let's say an apple and an apple is equals to two apples right one apple minus one apple if I have one apple right and I remove it how many apples am I, am I left with? I'm left with no apple, right? Okay, so if I have two A plus three A is equals to, treat them as physical items, right? They are the same, A and A, add them, five A. Hope that makes sense, right? If it's 3a minus 2a is I've got three apples now I remove two of them how many am I left with I'm left with an apple or one apple that's why when you say minus 3a it becomes an a sometimes they just write an a you have to know that it's one a all right okay so now if I have 2a minus 3a then what do I do here? what do I do here in mathematics right when you add in you don't necessarily consider a positive right you consider the signs instead of a positive right so a negative is bigger here I've got more rotten apples than good ones right so what, what what's what, what's dominating here you look at what's dominating what's dominating is rotten apples these are the good ones right so you take the sign of the bad ones because they are the ones that they are the, the it's more of rotten apples than the good ones so you take the sign minus right minus you take three and then you're going to say three minus two you will be left with one a right so three will minus two right so basically uh, three rotten apples can be replaced by only two good ones and they will cancel out so I'll be left with one rotten apple hope that makes sense but what I want you to note here is that you take the dominant sign and minus from there when you're dealing with like terms hope that makes sense I hope that makes sense so let's say I have 4b plus 3a minus b plus a right here when you're dealing with this right what you do is you group the like terms right you group the like terms you take apples to apples 
bananas to bananas. Remember, when you don't write the post the sign here, it means it's a positive already. So you go for b minus b. So like terms with like terms. Okay. Three apples and one apple. Four apples. I have four now. Here. I'll consider a sign first because the signs are not the same, right? So which one is going to be dominating? It's the positive on the B's, right? So now the B, 4B, 4 bananas will take out, I take out a rotten banana, I will be left with 3 bananas. I hope that makes sense. When you're dealing with a positive and a negative, treat the a b's x y whatever as physical items right if it's x y plus 3 x y it means it's 1 x y plus 3 x so it's going to be 4 x y all right 14 z a plus 13 Z A the signs are the same. I'm going to add the Z A's because the signs are the same. So we're going to 13 plus 14. Okay, which is going to be 27 Z A. Right? But if I have 14 Z A minus 13 Z A, so it's physical items, right? I've got 14 rotten bananas i have 40 a total of 14 bananas but all of them are rotten 13 of them are rotten so i'm gonna remove 13 of them and i'm gonna be left with one ripe one right so you look at the dominant sign right so what if then here right here i've got minus 13 z a plus 14 z a what what then like i said when you are adding you look at the signs 14 and 15 which one is bigger it's 14 so you take the sign of a dominant number which is 14 and the 14 which is the positive will remove the 13 which is z a Alternatively, I can have a positive 13 and a negative 14. What do I do? Same thing. Which one is bigger? 14. I'll take the sign of the bigger one and minus. I'll be left with 1z8. You understand the concept here? Make sure. Group the like terms first like I did here look at the dominant signs which one dominates first all right before you do anything before you do anything okay so i've dealt with positive and a negative all right so i'm gonna deal with uh multiplication and division on another video